Good morning or good afternoon, wherever you may be, or good evening or good night. This is Jen at Jen's Arty Inclinations, a place to create, share and play. I've discovered that while I'm junk journaling, a lot of it is like a creative practice and I think it helps us in all of our art and it's a great place to also display all of our art. So I thought what a fun, easy, beginner friendly way to do creative exercises, improve our artistic confidence and, you know, refine your personal style or find it if you haven't found it already. So I hope you'll join me and, you know, we'll just play about weekly. Oh, weekly-ish. Hello, everyone. I was going through and looking at some of my little covered buttons. I often just cover buttons with paper and things like that. And it got me thinking about little split pins. So today we're going to make little mini works of art on the top of split pins. Really simple, really easy. And the great thing is you've got to create to create. And sometimes when you limit yourself to something small, you can develop that as you go along. So it's really important just to get in there and get creating. So yeah, we'll put those aside. And I had these split pins, which are really, really flat. So you can do these with any, oh, they're what you call brad clips overseas. You can do this with any different types, but yeah, see how they work? They just kind of, lend themselves to this. So I started hole punching and that's what I'm using to pop on the top and you'll see that really easily. Now because these are flat I've done some where all I've done is just stuck that on top but you'll see at the end I've got another type of way that I do this and then yeah you can you know do it with something that's got a bit of body as well. But yeah, all I did was I used my 450 and that's it. I just popped them down on top. So I really love these. They're really fun to use in our journals. They're really fun to use, you know, with anything that you're playing with. Uh, you know, you can attach some papers at work and have these really cute little attachments anyway. Lots of fun. Now, these are just some scrappy bits that I had, you know, some painty papers and things like that. And then I also had a box of circles that I cut out. So yeah, all fun. Now I found when you used, you know, two different ones, then you can kind of layer them. So then you've got like a little picture frame on your first little piece. So that's a bit cute. And this time I use the art glitter glue. That's just because my hands um, are quite sore, which is why it's taken me a while to uh, get this one out this week. But um, yeah, that just helped. So the next thing I did was, um, because it was easier to squeeze that bottle is what I mean. So the next one I did, I backed them and made them a little bit thicker. So I just had these plain circles that I'd cut out some time before. And then I put the paper on top. So that just gave it a little bit more thickness on the larger ones. And I'm actually quite happy with how they turned out. I think, you know, it's always a nice look when you've actually got book pages. So again, something just nice and simple. And then what did I do? Oh, all right. And then I did another little framed one on top. So just popping the smaller circle on the top. So just circles cut out with different size hole punches or whatever you have to do circles. You can also, you know, trace around a circle like the bottom of that glue is a circle. So you can trace around that and just cut it. So, you know, however you want to do it. I mean, they don't even have to be circles. This would look pretty cool if you did squares and things like that. So yeah, that's a bit of fun. You know, inking some edges just to get a bit of a different look. Lots of fun. Where am I put? Oh, that's right. And then I popped a little button. Now it is hard to see, but 
I popped a little button on the top. Now, normally I would put a bit of string through the button as well, just, you know, to add a little something. I really couldn't tie a bow uh, at the moment. So I still think it looks really nice just without a piece of string in it. So cute. So there we go. That's that one. And then just putting the split pin on the back. So really easy, simple stuff. But as you're playing, it's small and you'll just kind of think of other little things you can put on them. So limits are a fantastic way to extend your creativity. Sometimes you're limiting yourself to your materials. Here we're limiting ourselves to a size. Sometimes if you're limiting a colour, you know, um, say just use one colour. So that is really, really helpful. All right, so then I got a little bit more adventurous and I decided that, you know, well, we need to do butterflies. <laughs> of course, what else do I do? I love doing butterflies. So I had these lovely little teeny butterflies that I put on some and then I had some more butterflies. So again, really simple just to put together and works really effectively. You know, they're generic enough for me that this is kind of my style. So it will go with, you know, whatever kind of theme I'm doing in the book. And so that's a bit of fun. But yeah, I just got more adventurous, started adding, you know, little bits of cloth and stuff behind them and really just played, you know, put a butterfly on the two, on the little frame one to see what that looked like. And then I wanted some that actually came out. So that was fun. Now, this is what you can do if you have brad clips that aren't flat, like these ones that I've got. So this will work with any. And that is you just encase them. So you put one underneath and then you put one on the top. I, you know, these ones have a bit of a raised back. So I had to really push the back down. And yeah, then you are just, you know, be generous with your glue so that they do hold and they do stay. But then this also means that you can use any type of glue because you're not gluing the clip, you're actually gluing around it. So that is a really good way to do them and they will last a lot longer with that. So same thing, doing that, popping a little bit of cloth on and then a butterfly. And yeah, works beautifully. So that is my little tip for if you don't have a glue that you think is going to stick to the metal or if you have a brad clip that's, you know, got a little bit of height or thickness to it, this is a good way to get around that. And then you can still decorate your very own clips. So we can often buy decorative ones, but how fun is it to do your own? You can add buttons to them. You could make them fabric. You could do all kinds of um, amazing uh, clips this way. So yeah, just have a bit of fun get out some little split pins and just play. So oh, I should just mention, I am sorry that uh, it's taken me a while to put this out this week. I ended up having uh, basically like a rheumatoid arthritis kind of reaction thing to uh, COVID. Apparently you can get them from infections. Shouldn't be permanent. I, it, I should be... Um, over it in about six to 12 months, but it's taken them three months to work out what's going on. And it was just getting worse and I wasn't able to use my hands very well. So I'm now on the right medication and um, what do they call it? Disease modifying and all that sort of, you know, other things to go with that. So that's made life a lot easier and uh, hopefully we'll be back into the swing. But yeah, it just I just got to the point where I just couldn't do things. But the beautiful thing about my art, and that's why I'm mentioning this, is it's really helped me think about ways to look after my body, to look after my hands, because I had it all through my body. And it's made me think of also how therapeutic art is, because it's really helping me in the mornings just free up my hands 
and get them working again just to be more gentle. So yeah, really think about how you're using your body as well when you're doing your art and let's look after our bodies and do use the shortcuts because that's what helps longevity and that's what helps you do more. So there you go. Now, this is all of them together. That's what we made together today. I do hope you have a go. These are lots and lots of fun. And I think that anybody can do these. And like I say, they're little mini pieces of art. Aren't they cute? So enjoy everybody. Take care. I'd love it if you could leave me a comment below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed what you saw today. And of course, please subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you next time. And in the meantime, keep creating. Enjoy. 